Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 13th question from CBSC class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section A which is multiple choice questions where each question is of one mark. Now this question is from the surface areas and volumes chapter. A sphere of maximum volume is cut out from a solid hemisphere of radius 7 cm. The ratio of the volume of original hemisphere to that of the cutout sphere is. Now in this question, we have cut out a sphere from a solid hemisphere. So let me draw it over here. So as you can see, I have drawn a hemisphere of radius 7 cm as it is given in the question. And a sphere of maximum volume is being cut out from this hemisphere. Now we have to find out what is the ratio of the original hemisphere that is before the sphere was cut out to that of the volume of the cut out sphere. Now here since the radius of the hemisphere is given as 7 cm, let us try to find out what is the radius of the sphere which is inside this hemisphere. So I have drawn the radius of the hemisphere and the radius is nothing but the diameter of this sphere. So the diameter of the sphere is 7 cm. So radius is going to be half of the diameter. So it is going to be 7 over 2 cm. Now here I am going to consider the radius of the hemisphere as R1 and radius of the sphere as R2. Now once we have got the radius of hemisphere and the radius of the sphere, we are going to make use of the formula of volume of hemisphere and volume of the sphere. And we are going to form a ratio. So let me write here. So the ratio of volume of the original hemisphere to the volume of the cutout sphere is given as 2 over 3 pi r1 cube which is the formula for volume of hemisphere and 4 over 3 times pi r2 cube which is the volume of the sphere. Now you can see I have written r1 and r2 that is r1 represents the radius of the hemisphere and r2 represents the radius of the sphere. Now simply we have to simplify the given terms and substitute the value of R1 and R2. So let us first start by simplifying it. That is pi and pi from the numerator and denominator cancels. And we can also divide the 3 and the 3. Now we are left with 2 times R1 cube. R1 is 7. So we are going to write it as 7 cube over 4 is remaining from the denominator times R2 r2 is 7 over 2 so 7 over 2 cube next let us simplify this we can divide the 2 and 4 as we can see so 2 1 times and 2 2 times and in the numerator we have 7 cube so i'm going to split it up as 7 times 7 times 7 and in the denominator we are left with 2 times 7 over 2 cube i'm going to split up as 7 over 2 times 7 over 2 times 7 over 2. Now let us further simplify this. That is 7, all the three 7's from the numerator will divide all the 7's from the denominator. So let us try to simplify this further. And here in the numerator we have left with 1 over 2 in the denominator times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. We are going to multiply them and write it as 1 over 8. Now 1 over 8, it flips upside. So we get 1 over 2 times 8 over 1. So this is a flipping case. The 1 over 8 flips upside down, becoming 8 over 1. Now the final step, that is 2 1 times and 2 4 times. So here we get the ratio as 4 over 1. So let me write it like a ratio, 4 is to 1. So let us see if 4 is to 1 is in the options. So here we have option D, 4 is to 1. So here we have made use of the formula for volume of the hemisphere and volume of the sphere. And finding out the radius of the hemisphere and radius of the sphere, we solved it to get the ratio of volume of hemisphere to volume of sphere as 4 is to 1. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.